Take three on Karen's video for today. Because I keep on rambling off topic. I'm trying to do a more confession video, really. Because I saw a similar monkey's confession post today on my dash and I woke up at 9.30. Yay, I woke up early. If you've been seeing my blog, I have a horrible sleeping pattern. Up till like 5. Don't get on till like noon. Yeah. But, um... I saw a post, and they were talking about how they were afraid of their being a fan of the, the fact that they're being a fan of the monkeys. That it's going to fade away. That it's just a phase in their life. That it's just going to fade out. That they're not just not going to be monkeys fans after a while. And I saw that, and it just kind of reminded me that um, I can never with an obsession for very long. Year, a little bit every year. I think I was a fan of cars for like two years. Yes, the Pixar movie, don't judge. But, um, that's probably the longest it's ever been. Well, actually, Blue's Clues was like many years. <laughs> and I was like five. <laughs> uh, I've been obsessed with many different things in my lifetime. Which is a little crazy. But, um, I always grow out of them. Always. There may be traces of love still to be found. Like with the Disney movie Cars, the whole new Cars Land Park, I believe it's called, at the California Adventures Park. I've seen some promos for it. It looks just like the movie. I was clawing at the TV screen. Yeah. So some traces left over. But it's never the same as before. And that makes me sad, because I've already been obsessed with two different bands, The Beatles and The Who. The Who is a short obsession. I didn't listen to them much, which is a lesson I kind of learned from being a fan of The Beatles. Because in my Beatles obsession, I mostly listen to them for an entire year. There are some songs I can listen to and it's like, I still love them. Like Cable Dog. That one I would never get tired of, I don't think. And then again, I didn't own that one for the longest time because I don't have the Yellow Submarine album. Oops. But, um... <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but, um... Anyways, I listen to a lot of the songs a lot. Like, and I love her. I probably still can't listen to that one. It overplayed it. I was such a Paul girl. I mean, I would daydream about the guy and like wish to be born in the 40s and like meet him and marry him. And like, there are people that do that still. But I'm not as obsessed with that whole thing anymore. That kind of faded away, I think, like earlier this year. Thank goodness. It's one thing to be obsessed over celebrities, but it's another thing to believe that they're your soulmate. Yeah. Oh look, I'm doing it again, going off topic. I'm talking, I'm supposed to be talking about how I'm afraid of fading out of the monkeys fandom. Which I am, I mean, so far the monkeys have brought me the most joy of any band. Next, probably being the Beatles. But the monkeys provide me something that no other band could. It's that TV show. I mean, yeah, I think, what about the Beatles? You have hard days ain't help. It's not the same to be able to sit down for just half an hour, there's a little break in the day, and just laugh your head off at these monkeys, at these four wonderful, perfect characters. Notice the characters are perfect, the human beings certainly aren't. <laughs> but, um,. But it's just, it's just funny and zany and, you know, hey, hey, we're the monkeys, people say we monkey around. No, come on. It's fun. And the fandom is probably, out of all the fandoms I've been in, the most welcoming, maybe. Kind of. There, there are some fans that complain about, oh, I missed the fandom the way it was.
before Davey died. But they don't give me crap. I haven't really done much. Have I? Have I ruined your fandom? I don't think so. I hope not. Uh, I would stay. But most of you guys are pretty welcoming. And, which is nice, considering the fact that I purposely delayed myself a month of getting into the monkeys because I didn't want to look like someone that only got into them because Davy died. But I mean, like, if I want, if you want proof of this, how welcome I feel. I mean, I've already participated in three different tiny chats with people because we're all monkeys fans. The last time I did something like that was a chat room on the old Pixar Planet. It's not old, it's still running. To me, it seems old. On the Pixar Planet forums. But even then, I wasn't as accepted into the community as a whole because the Pixar fandom is a, quite a large one if you didn't realize. And so, I mean, I feel really welcomed, and like, you know, NP, they've like, re they've like, talked to me before, and like, especially Amy, I don't know so much about Moon Dreams, but, I mean, it's just one of those things where it's like, I feel welcome in the fandom, I feel a part of it. And I'm usually not a part of things at all. I mean, yeah, so sob story time. I mean, Aspie over here, not very good social skills. I mean, the, com the invention of, you know, the computer and typing things out has really helped. It is my preferred method of communication. I can actually socialize with the thing. And, I mean, if anyone, like, if anyone here, like, remembers the first time I did when we were supposed to be doing, a, like, reading Donatella's head fix and making fun of them and such, I barely talked because it was like, this is a little awkward for me, you know, one at a time, maybe I can talk to you all, but, you know, suddenly throwing myself in a video chat with, like, five other people and... But, I mean, the fandom is wonderful. The band is amazing. I mean, they were manufactured. And within, what, months? They could put on a show and wow a crowd and... I mean, they were amazing. I can only imagine what they would have done if Peter and then Mike hadn't left. But I don't want my obsession to end. But they usually do. I mean, I don't know how to really stop that. And that's kind of what I'm afraid of.